Web services allow you to create classes in one application and then use those classes from another application over the internet, over HTTP. So it's a very powerful thing, and PHP 5 has SOAP support in it. The only problem is the SOAP in PHP 5 does not create a WSDL file, which is very useful and makes web services much easier to consume with your applications. So for that reason, I'm going to show you how to make web services with a library called new soap. First we have to get new soap. Just type new soap, download for instance, source ForgeNet new soap. Download new soap. Download the latest. Download new soap. And save to disk. Okay. So basically you'll get it somewhere and then say, let's see here, so we can see it. 7-zip, extract files. And you want to extract it to your web directory. Since we installed XAMPP Lite, we have everything under XAMPP Lite, under C, htdocs, and then webs, and then test. So here I'm going to make a new folder, call it new soap and say okay. Okay, super. Now, let me go in here to my web directory test. So I am in where we just put this in, Zamplight, htdocs, webs, test, and there's new soap. So go into new soap, go into the library file, do a control A, copy everything up into new soap, basically. So now what we want to do is, since when you install XAMPP Lite, SOAP or PHP 5 SOAP is enabled by default, we need to disable that or we're going to run into problems. So let's do that right now. Problems that we would run into if we didn't do this is the SOAP classes are named the same and so you would have a conflict. You need to change uh, an entry in your php.ini file and that's under XAMPP Lite Apache bin. PHP any, search for soap. There it is. Turn it off with a semicolon in front. Save. Then you have to restart Apache and PHP. Click on ZAMP light and double click on ZAMP restart. You'll get a window. It says restarting. Wait a couple seconds and then don't close the window. Just make it small here. Minimize. And now new soap is ready to go. So let's make a web service. So the web service that we're going to make is we'll simply add two numbers. So add a new PHP file. We'll call it math service. And how is this going to look? Well, it's just a lot of syntax. So follow along, please. First of all, we need to load in our new soap class. Require ones, new soap. That's where we put it. And it's called new soap PHP. You can see this file. Under here, let me do F5 to refresh so we have new soap. And then under here, there is actually a new soap.php in your classes in there. So let's make a new soap server. We'll call it soap equals new soap server. Okay, soap configure WSDL, call it math service and type in your or a url that you own here so that it's unique and then soap ws dl schema target namespace you need a namespace enter up standard or xsd there we go. Now we need to register our web service. And here's how we do it. Actually register our web service method. Uh, register. Okay. And let's call it. So at the end, we're going to have this. We're going to have a multi-line command here. Add. And then add is going to be the name of our method. It accepts an array. A which is an integer, 
Now, after we get done with this, we're going to have to create the function which actually performs the addition. The function is going to be called add. So let's go ahead and put this all in one line here so it looks nice. And then we have soap interop is fine for the example. So there we have the registration of our method called add, which is going to add numbers. So then we just need to say soap service and check if raw post data is set. If so, send it. If not, just send, define it as blank. And now we just need to make a function, add, this is the easy part. It's going to add two numbers is all. So we can make sure that if it does not equal null and b does not equal null and trim of a does not equal empty. That means if there, as long as there's something in it and the same with b. So basically there has to be something in a and b. Then return a plus b. That's the service. Else return and here you can send a fault soap fault so you can catch it client invalid parameter for instance okay so we have all that done that is our web service we can actually look at our web service without instantiating it our local host webs test yeah, our math service .php. Go ahead and just run that one. You must provide an array for the operation outputs. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, the problem is here is that we forgot to add this the output should be here. And that should be some XSD, and that should also be an integer like that so now we have what the parameter should be what the return variable is going to be now that should work here let's go back math service and here we have it math service view the wsdl this is very nice this is what you would have to make by hand if you were using php 5 soap or find some other way to create it But this is done automatically for us by new soap, which is very nice. Now let's consume this web service with code. So we will make a new page here under test. Hello. Let's go back here. Test new PHP file. Let's call it use math. Okay. Now we also have to require once include the new soap. New soap PHP. Okay. And now this is relatively easy compared to building the service. Soap equals new soap client. And we have to basically just give it this the WSDL URL. So let's give it that. True and create a proxy. Get proxy. So now that we have our proxy, we can call our method. The sum that we want is the result of proxy. Now add is our method. Let's add four to six. And echo the sum is sum. So if it returns 10, we know that our web service works. Let's go to use math. And it does say 10. So we know the computer can add and that our web service works. If you are using, for instance, in a project, if you're using the PHP 5 SOAP and you need to make the WSDL, one trick is to actually use new SOAP, let's say on another server, create the W or let new soap generate the WSDL for you and then just copy that into a file 
and use it with the PHP 5 soap. That's a trick that allows you to use the soap that comes with PHP 5. But if all you need to do is to create a web service in your PHP application that can be read by, for instance, Java applications or .NET applications, I think the easiest way is to still use new soap.